What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. Today's video was an incredibly requested topic even though I had previously covered it for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This video is particularly going to be focusing on Call of Duty Warzone. Now of course, just because I'm using a Windows PC to show you doesn't mean this is only for PC. This guide is going to show you how to port forward not only PC but also Xbox and PlayStation so that you can open your NAT on basically any platform that you can play Warzone on. Of course, for consoles, you'll just be skipping out on a couple of steps such as the Windows firewall as of course you won't have one. So without further ado, if you'd like to know optimizing guides for Warzone or Modern Warfare as well as a plethora of other videos, make sure to check the description down below to see what there is. Other than that, let's just get into it. Now for me, I have a very simple one router setup that my PC is connected to even though there's multiple routers in my house. If you're going to be using a device that's connected to a router and then another router, you'll have to port forward on every step along the way. In this video, I'll only be showing you how to port forward on one, though if you have multiple routers in a chain, basically you need to port forward your closest router to your device such as a PC or console and then the next one along the chain before it gets to the internet needs to be port forwarded to the next one down in the chain, i.e. the router, and then that second router is port forwarded to your computer or console. But of course, if you'd like to know more about multi-router setups, make sure to check the description down below for a video on how to port forward there. In the description down below, you'll find all of this text. Basically, these are ports that need to be forwarded to your devices. The first set is for PC, second for PlayStation, and third for Xbox. Depending on what device you're going to be using, this is what you're going to be using here. So first of all, before we even get to logging into our router, we need to know the IP address of the device that we're currently using. To do this on PC, simply hold start, press R, and then type in CMD to open up a new command prompt window. Inside of here, type in ipconfig, and then hit enter. Look for the way that you're connected to the internet, which for me is Ethernet Adapter Ethernet. And then look for IPv4 address and you should see some numbers here. This is your local IP, the address of your device on your local network. This is what we're going to be forwarding the ports to inside of our local router. Just keep this number in mind or put it aside for now. After doing this, you'll need to log into your router. Now, of course, I can't exactly tell you where this is, but simply open up a web browser on any device connected to the router and navigate across to the login page. Most of the time, this will be 192.168.1.1 or possibly 0.1. You'll know you're there when it actually loads up to a page asking you for your login details instead of one with a sad dinosaur on it or that simply just loads forever. When you do get to your router's login page, make sure to log in. Now, of course, because every router is incredibly different, I can't show you how to do it exactly. Hence, I've created a useful website. This is simply a demo router that doesn't actually do anything, but it'll give you the idea of what exactly you need to do in order for this to work. Basically, when you get to the port forwarding section of your local router, you'll see external, internal ports, a protocol type, an IP address to port forward to, and usually an enable button. It might not be laid out in this exact same way, and of course they may be asking for ranges instead of ports, but regardless, you need to get to your port forwarding page for your local router. And of course, if you need any help with this, make sure to look up a specialized guide for your particular router or ISP. From here, all you need to do is refer to the ports in the description down below. For me, I'll be port forwarding my PC over here. Simply look at the TCP and UDP ports. What exactly are we going to do with these? Well, if we have a look at our router, as you can see, protocol, we can choose TCP, UDP, and most routers will have a combination of both of them. If you have a combination as such, you'll be able to save a couple of numbers in entry. Basically, we can type 3074 to port forward both TCP and UDP at once, as this port is used by both protocols. As you can see, some ports are shared between the two and some of them only exist on one or the other. So if you have the option to enter combined ports, we'll be starting with this. So of course, 3074. External port, 3074. And if they're asking for a range, you can enter it there as well. I'll port forward 3074 from the outside to the inside of my network, protocol, TCP and UDP combined. And then my local IP address we found earlier, which was here. I'll enter it and then click add or save. Now we've successfully port forwarded one port. All we have to do is rinse and repeat for everything. So because not much else here matches, we'll go ahead and port forward them separately. So 27014 to 27050. To 27050. As such, protocol only TCP to my local IP and add. Now we're done with TCP. Let's do UDP. 3478 UDP. 4379 to 4380. 
UDP. 27,000 to 27,031 UDP. And finally, 27,036. Now, of course, these numbers will be different for you depending on what platform you're using. After you've entered all of the ports into the port forwarding section of your router, simply click the Save or Save and Restart button to apply changes on your router. Congratulations, you've now successfully port forwarded, but we're not completely done. If you're on PC and not a console, you'll need to also allow it through your firewall. And if you have an antivirus installed with a firewall in it, you'll have to search up a specialized guide for whatever antivirus or firewall software you have, as they're all very different. I'll be showing you how to do this on the basic Windows firewall, as most people will have only that and not a specialized firewall software. So let's go ahead and do that. Hit start, type in firewall, and then simply open up Windows Defender Firewall. You'll see this on your screen. Simply click Advanced Settings and we'll get to Windows Defender with Advanced Security. Here's where we need to be. On the left hand side, we have Inbound and Outbound rules. Basically, you have to enter the same ports for both Inbound and Outbound rules. This will allow through your Windows firewall and make sure that Windows doesn't block these ports now that they've been forwarded to our computer. So all we have to do is click New Rule after clicking Inbound Rule, select Port, Next, TCP, and we'll enter some local ports. As you can see, we can enter them comma separated, so we can simply copy the entire line as such, TCP, 3074, and this range over here. Paste it in, next, allow, next, next, give it a name such as say, Warzone, and then finish. Now, let's do that again, but for UDP on the inbound section. So I'll copy the UDP ports, new rule, port, Next, UDP, and I'll paste in the range and ports over here. Next, allow, next, next, give it a name, and finally finish. Then we can go across to the outbound rules section, new rule, and we'll be repeating the process here. Port, next, because I still have UDP selected, I'll start with that. Paste, next, allow, next, next, give it a name, and finish. Then new rule once again, and we're doing the last one now, port, TCP, and we'll copy the TCP range in this time. As such, next, allow, next, next, war zone, finish. It doesn't really matter what you call it, just as long as you'll be able to find it later if for some reason you'd like to block those ports or remove the rules from your firewall. From here, you're done. If you were to fire up the game with port forwarding successfully configured and allowed through your Windows firewall, you should notice that visiting the options menu will show that you have an open NAT instead of strict or moderate. However, a quick disclaimer, some ISPs do not allow port forwarding whether you have it set up properly on your side or not. If for some reason you've followed absolutely every single guide on the internet and it's still not working for you, what can you do? Well, simply call your ISP and ask them if you A, can port forward, and B, for a link to a specialized guide for your specific router that they've given you. But besides that, you should now have an open NAT, whether you're on console or on PC, it's as simple as that. That's about it for this hopefully quick guide. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video's been helpful, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!